Hello guys, how are you all doing? Today we are making something. We're making pots guys. For us we use pots for a lot of things. For cooking, for storing, drinking water. And even sometimes for storing some food stuff, depending on the shape of the pot. So guys, before we dive into this, you're very much welcome. And I hope you're already subscribed because if you're not, please ensure you do that. And also turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss a video. Okay. So today I am here with a very wonderful lady. This is her job. She makes this for a living. And we are in her compound. So she makes a lot of pots. I think you can see some of them here. I'll show you more in front there. So this is got from this kind of uh, soil. Should I call it soil or mud? I don't know. Um, soil, I think. I don't know. It's got from near a water point. So we have one just right here. There's a water point here. She gets sometimes from there. Sometimes she gets from there's another water point. So guys, this soil here is I could tell rock particles really tiny. But it's really rough as well, just to hold it and make it firm for this much. Because if you do this alone, surely it will break so easy. So she mixes in this to make it strong and firm. You know how you need chapati or dough or something? That is how you do it. As if you're knitting chapati dough. <laughs> So guys, that is the starting point of the molding. I think you can see. Guys, this only looks simple when you're only seeing it, but when you try it, I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's hard, I'm telling you, it's hard. I've tried to learn this, but ooh, looks like it won't, it won't be just a one day thing. So 
of course when you see her doing it it feels like it's really easy So she's actually smoothening it guys as you can see but also there's a shape coming i hope you're noticing and this size of a pot we always use this for cooking and of course this is not for a large family as you can see it's not a big pot but it's a cooking pot Oh wow, this is really good art guys. I think you notice how this is bending just like that. Look at this. There's a bent already here if you're, if you're keen enough. Guys, as for me, it looks like oh, I'm still in class. <laughs> Let me first learn properly. <laughs> so she's widening now the outer part, like the lower part. She's widening it. Okay, when you just think it looks very simple, guys. Like I told you earlier, but when you try it out, <laughs> ask me why I stopped. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, I want, I want you to see this. So guys, that kind of gives you the roughness on the outside. And it makes it just look more crafty, like more of art. The beauty also comes with that. I think you notice how it became so rough. She only use this. And if you look at it, you will not even believe it. The one which gives you that roughness. Let me show you. It's just inside here. So she has a store right here where she keeps the ones which are still wet. So right here is where she keeps them and also the ones which are ready for sale. Sometimes maybe she stores them here and then she just puts a few outside here as a display. I think you can see. Because right here is a red side, so people who are passing can always have a view of it. And in case anybody is interested in buying, they just come here. So these ones are purely red. I think you can see even the colors on it. She has burnt them already. Like it's really good. And this keeps really cold water. I can tell you this is our refrigerator, guys. This is our traditional refrigerator. I can tell you that, in other words, because this is where we keep, especially these big ones. These ones are purely for drinking water. So guys, as you can see, these ones are in the process of drying. But what happens is the first about three days, they only dry under a shade. You don't have to display them on the sun when it's drying. So that's the reason you notice they're only lined under a shade. And also these ones are drying under a shade for about three days. Then after that, you can put them on the sun. And the reason she puts them under the shade is to avoid cracking. Like it cracks when the, when the sun hits it before it dries well so when it dries just in a cold place like this it dries really well it's really beautiful i can tell you that 
So I think you notice this one is a bit different. It has some holes here. And you know the use is different from this. This, one's also, this one is also a drinking water pot. But this is used like a, should I call it a heater or something? You know broilers are always kept, broilers, the chicken, are always kept inside a house. So when you want to heat or provide warmth, warmth in, in their house, you put some fire inside here. Then you just place this in the middle of the house. So the chicken will be getting warmth just to make the house hot enough for them or warm enough for them. So this is not for cooking, neither is it for drinking water. It serves a different purpose and that is it. So guys, we're only going to demonstrate to you how it's supposed to be burnt because this here is still supposed to dry a little longer. It's supposed to dry under the shade like I told you. Then maybe tomorrow it can be put on the sun to dry before it can be burnt. So this is just to demonstrate and show you how it's supposed to be burnt. But we are surely not going to burn it in reality. So as you can see, this is the place we use, she uses for burning. And you can see some three things here, just for putting it this, to hold it in position. So she puts this around like this. But of course, firewood, which is not yet burnt, these ones are like leftovers from the previous burning. So you put the firewood just around it like this then you set it on fire so the heat from the fire will definitely try to make the pot really strong like that all right guys so that is just how we make the pots in our land i don't know if you guys have pots first of all or anything molded out of um like using hands the way she just did guys for us here, it's like a real source of living because she earns through that and this is a homestead. And she, it's like her office. Her office is just in her compound. That's the beauty. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. Let me know where you're watching me from. And please ensure that you're subscribed. And let me know how you guys do your craft work. If it's anywhere similar to this, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm out.